Hello everyone, let's solve this question from sets. It appeared in Gate CSE 2015. Although this question uh, needs uh, not much of uh, attention from uh, teaching point of view. As some of you will say that uh, it's just a formula. We remember formula and we can apply and easily get to the answer. But uh, let's uh, understand the concept of cardinality and power set briefly. So cardinality is uh, nothing but number of elements in set. Let's say you have a set A, which looks something like this. 1, 2, 3. I'm taking a simple set. So first of all, number of elements in set A is equal to 3. You can easily say. Fine. So this is nothing but... Uh, the cardinality of this set. So cardinality of A if someone asks you and then you will answer 3. What's next? I am uh, considering the same set. Now if you want to find the power set of A. Then power set of A is written by P of A and it is nothing but a set which contains all the subsets which are possible all the combinations which you can uh, make from 1 2 3 okay along with that an empty set which is phi is also included so let's first include that okay now what all combination you can make you can make a single single combination that is one alone I'm not good with drawing the curly brackets. 2 alone. 3 alone. Then you can have a pair of 2. So 1 comma 2. Then you have 2 comma 3. Then you can have uh, 1 comma 3. Then what can you have? Wait, you already have written pair of 1, pair of 2 uh, and then finally you can have pair of 3 which will be only 1. So that will be 1, 2, 3 and now as you have opened this so let's close. So all the subsets uh, which were possible has been closed under a set curly braces so that is what power set is all about now if you count the number of elements in this set or the cardinality of the power set 3 6 7 and 8 so number of element in power set of a is nothing but a and number of elements in a was 3 how can you relate 3 to 8? Now 2 cube is 8. So you can uh, write a general formula that uh, if number of elements in A equals to n. So number of element in power set of A equals to 2 power n. By that idea we can easily say that in this set we have 11 elements 1 to 10 and 0. So number of elements is 11. So this will give you 2 power 11 if they, they ask their uh, in uh, integers so you can easily say 2 power 11 or 1024 into 2 is 2048 this is your final answer. Now also I have one more explanation for you answer is over the explanation is over and how we get 2 power n okay. So let me take uh, let me show you with the help of uh, binomial. So, if you have a set A, let's say, which have 1, 2, 3 as elements. Okay. Now, you are saying in power set, all possible combinations are there. Okay. So, there, uh, how many elements are there? 3. So, there can be combinations in which you are taking no elements out of this that means I am considering this empty set there can be cases where you are taking one of them so 
uh, how many uh, such uh, combinations can we make 3c1 because 3c1 is 3 so as you can see this 3 are made in which 1 1 are there ok plus how many combinations are possible if you are taking 2 at a time so 3c2 and 3c2 is also equal to 3c1 because ncr is equal to ncn minus r so 3c2 will be nothing but 3c1 fine which is equal to 3 so as you can see three such combinations are there and finally taking three at a time you are getting only one combination because ncn is one so now if you add this so you have a formula in a binomial theorem that if you are adding nc0 nc1 up to ncn you are getting 2 power n so in this case you are getting 2 power 3 and that's how we get this formula of 2 power n so i hope you understood this just a small uh, explanation from my side otherwise you already know the formula that is 2 power n so thanks again for watching thanks again for coming see you with more videos thanks again